yeah, I, I, I never get tired of um, just learning more and more about myself and about the, the nature of my mind and about the nature of reality. For me, it's just this um, endlessly fascinating topic. And um, the fact that we can all come here and, and speak about this and have this common terminology and this language where we can all speak about our own experience and speak about it in a way that, that makes sense is, is for me just uh, incredible. And um, I, I just see how simple my life has become through this training. And um, that certainly wasn't the case before I met this training. Um, I, I really love the question about um, feeling restless. And um, it, this is something we can explore right now. If you, if you just stop for a moment and notice everything that's going on, you know, all of the sensations in your body, all of the en energy, the tingling sensations and the, the thoughts that are just passing on by and perhaps an emotion and all the sensations around us, everything you can see and hear and sense and feel. You know, there's just so much going on, there is so much energy just in, in this moment right here and, and you're actually sat here doing nothing in a chair and yet there's so much going on, so much bubbling away and um, until I met this training I, I found that intensity of um, energy and experience was also something that was it was challenging because I, I didn't know what to do with it and and so um, like was shared I tried different ways to, to manage that energy um, ways to damp it down like drinking or smoking you know to try and somehow get you know keep this down because this is just I just can't handle this this is just too much and um, so these kinds of approaches of um, trying to replace this, this feeling of intensity of energy with, with other calmer feelings, using um, different strategies and antidotes. Um, it kind of works because you do have a, a very temporary sense of relief, but um, if you've ever used smoking as an antidote to try and reduce your stress or your energy or to find that, that peace and that calm, then you'll know that that peace and that calm that you're looking for might possibly be found for the first two seconds of smoking a cigarette or whatever you're smoking. And, um, and then after that there's the anxiety and, and tension just comes back up again. And so you have to have another cigarette, another smoke. And you, you damp it down again and it comes up again and you have another cigarette. And, this is one way to deal with it, but um, it, it, it just meant <laughs> I was killing myself through smoking a lot. And, um, and there's all other ways that we have to try and deal with this, these sensations. Um, uh, physical exercise was something that I used as well, you know, really just that, that intensity of life. And you know, when you, you know, I used to go for a really hard run, you know, just running or, or walking really fast and hard, you know, dum, 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 <laughs> stomping away like that. And, you know, when things got too much, I'd just go for this really intense walk. And, and after, a, you know, an hour or two, I was just so exhausted that, you know, I had to give up with the intensity and that was all right. But my knees are quite sore now after years of this approach. And so it does provide some temporary relief, but it, it, it still hasn't got rid of this, this energy. And this intensity of sensation, of experience. And um, so I came along to the Balance View training and um, I, I remember coming to my first meeting and at the time the, the thought of being sat in a meeting for a whole hour being asked to sit on a chair and just listen without doing anything. I'm like sat at the back and <laughs> you know, twitching away and, and it was amazing for me to see more and more the reality of what was going on and, and what I'd been doing. And to have this, this suggestion that I could take a short moment of just allowing all of this 
energy, all of this description, all of this different data, just to be exactly as it was. And, um, I, I, yeah, I, I found that really confusing at first. I was like, but what, how, you know, how do I do that? You know, tell me how to do that. You know, I, that must involve doing something, you know, because that's what I do. I do things all of the time. And, um, and uh, I, 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 nobody would explain it to me, and I, but I kept coming back, and um, something I heard meant that I was intrigued by what was being offered here. There was a, a feeling of calm here that I couldn't quite explain. And um, eventually it, it dawned on me that, that um, to take a short moment was just to do nothing for a moment. Just, just to really allow it to be as it was, without needing to do anything with it. And that first recognition that it was safe to do that, that I could just be completely relaxed and open whenever I naturally remembered to, was just incredible. And it seemed so simple, it seemed, it seemed too simple, that there must be more to it than that. You know, I've worked so hard at everything in my life, I've tried to accumulate all of this experience, and I've tried to have accumulate all of this knowledge, accumulate all of this identity. And there must be more than just allowing myself to be as I am for a short moment. And I relaxed with that thought too. And there was a sense of immediate relief and benefit. And what I discovered was that this open intelligence that I was being introduced to was innately powerful and innately beneficial. And at the beginning I, I struggled with that, I struggled with that quite a lot. What, but how, how can it be beneficial? What, what does that mean? But the first place that I saw that was in, in my own experience. Just being unable to be with myself exactly as I am, with everything that was going on. The energy didn't go away. The energy, everything that I was feeling, all of this sensation, all of my thoughts, emotions and everything else was where my power to be of benefit lay. And that was seen when I allowed it to be exactly as it was. So what happened was that the focus then shifted. So previously my focus had been completely on all of the descriptions about what this energy was, about what I was thinking, feeling and sensing what I was experiencing. All of these different ways I had of describing what was going on. You know, I, I like this, I don't like this, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm sick, I'm well. I like that person, I don't like that person. This is a nice place, get me out of here. All of these different descriptions. And um, one short moment at a time of, of just allowing this, this flow of data, this data that was just streaming, to be as it was, allowed me to identify for myself that there was an intelligence that had always been the basis of my experience, that was naturally present, and as soon as I allowed the data to flow on by, this intelligence became obvious. So taking a short moment and allowing the data to be as they were, allowed me to identify open intelligence inseparable from the data. So they're not, not two separate things, that they're inseparable. Like, like the, the breeze is inseparable from the air. And what is more, the data, all of the descriptions, were my opportunity and my reminder to rely on open intelligence. So in each moment I, I saw I, I had a choice. I could either continue emphasizing the data all of these thoughts, emotions and sensations and try and live my life from there. And, and that's uh, an approach that I'd tried for, for decades. And I saw the results of that. I saw how... I saw how ill at ease I was in almost every situation. You know, I, had, I had moments of great ease and great bliss and relaxation, but they were so few and far between and, and the rest of my life was a hunt to try and recreate those experiences. And yet with this simple instruction and, and through showing up to the rest of the support system, 
this ease and obviousness that I thought was only to be found in certain descriptions was recognised in my own experience to be the basis of all of my descriptions. Open intelligence was inseparable from whatever I was experiencing. It didn't matter what the label was. Every time I focused on the label, without recognising it as open intelligence, there was a sense of tension and discomfort. Money is a perfect example of that. So as soon as you start to think about it, there's a sense of tension. There's a sense of unease. There's a sense of worry and concern. So you can relax right there with all of your data about money and recognise it as shining forth from open intelligence. How else would you know anything about money other than in, of, as and through open intelligence? It's the only way you know anything. So recognise that fundamental fact again and again for short moments. And immediately there's a sense of relaxation. So that's the first place I noticed this benefit. I began to find myself more and more relaxed in, in all kinds of situations where previously I certainly hadn't felt relaxed. So, so social situations are a great one for lots of data coming up. You know, you can be around people and they say all kinds of things that push your buttons, they make outrageous statements, have really bizarre opinions about things and say critical things to you and all of this, this, this rush of energy is there. So how are you going to deal with that? Are you going to continue using the conventional approaches, having a drink, having a smoke, getting the hell out of there, going for another long walk? Or are you going to relax for a short moment and see what happens? So that's the invitation and the suggestion here and this is something you can try out for yourself and um, when I began to test this out I, I was just amazed because not only did I feel this sense of ease but I began to say and I began to know exactly what to do in each time, place and circumstance that would be of most benefit so that my speech and my body, my qualities and activities and my mind could be used in a way that was of benefit to all. I began to see solutions wherever I went. Rather than only seeing problems, only having questions, instead I saw solutions and answers. But where were these all coming from? I hadn't changed, my data hadn't changed, I still felt uncomfortable and shy and arrogant and proud and all of these things. But what was happening was I was recognising all of these as being inseparable from open intelligence. And allowing this intelligence to outshine the emphasis on all of these descriptions. And so very gently I began to train up this power within myself, this power to rely on open intelligence one short moment at a time in all circumstances. And to see that I could live my life however I wanted to live it. I could continue being a victim, making myself a victim to all of these ever-changing descriptions. Or I could empower myself through utilising the support of Balanced View and to become a really incredible human being. The human being that I'd always actually been. The human being that I'd always known was there. I knew it was there. I knew that there was something worth searching for. I knew there was something more than you know, the conventional education that I was being given. I knew it. I, deep down I knew it and I, I'd always known it. And, and I looked in so many different places and I never found anything that could do anything than, than other than give me a glimpse of it. And I had these glimpses and that was so frustrating because then I definitely knew there was something there. But that was worse than not knowing. Because I knew there was something more, something that I wasn't able to access. Or not able to access whenever I wanted to. And yet when I came across the Balanced View training there was this systematic approach and by testing it out, it became more and more obvious. Everything I'd been looking for. 
What I'd been looking for was the intelligence that was looking through my eyes. It had simply gone unnoticed. And the recognition is one that you'll find yourself remembering more and more because it feels so good. Just to give up that whole focus on all of the data, that tension. So the spontaneous reminding will happen naturally just through the repetition of the short moments, but the short moments alone for me didn't allow me to find this openness and ease with all experience and I, I tried that and it became clear to me that I really did need more support than that. And the short moments were incredible but there were still things that completely overwhelmed me and it was impossible to recognise the inseparability of, um, yeah, of, of things like anxiety or loneliness or desire. You know, these really powerful sensations. I, I couldn't just allow them to be as they were. I, I couldn't, I couldn't. You know, they really did need something doing to them. And, and so when I showed up in the, the rest of the mainstays, in the training, and developed a relationship with my trainer, then these things too just opened out and expanded and I became just confident that I could be completely open-hearted in all circumstances. And um, the practical results of this are just beyond belief. Now in challenging situations, it's interesting, sometimes challenging situations are where we see this difference most. So in the, in the everyday walk of life, perhaps you don't notice this increasing ease. You know, it's, it, but when something challenging comes along, it becomes really obvious the difference that this training has made to me in my life. So rather than collapsing under the weight of all of this expectation about how I should be in a situation or ideas about how other people expect me to be in a situation or hopes and fears about what might happen or what might not happen, there is just complete open-heartedness. And this is just so precious and so powerful and so practical. It means that we can be there to powerfully support ourselves and the people that we love in our lives in a way that is really unimaginable. And um, this is the power and this is the benefit of this intelligence that we're learning to train up here. When no situation becomes anything other than an opportunity to be of benefit and to find practical solutions. And I can guarantee you that um, if you do take advantage of the Balanced View training then that will become more and more your experience. And you'll end up surprising yourself with the way that you do react in situations that previously just would have taken you down completely. So we're so lucky to have this opportunity to have a training that lays things out clearly. It doesn't just make pretty statements about the nature of reality. It doesn't just give you these tantalizing glimpses of the nature of who you really are but allows you to train this up to the degree that you want to train this up within yourself. You choose the pace that you go at and we're here to support you all the way. That's the power of the Four Mainstays. You customise this educational package to suit you and your lifestyle and there are many different ways that you can integrate it into your life. We have a media table at the back that has I don't know, probably three months worth of talks that you can download and just listen to when you're sleeping or cooking or, or doing whatever you're doing. Short moments always available. A trainer, a friend for life that will support you and customise the training to your particular circumstance and a community of people all around the world really committed to making this change and really changing the world from within. This is the grassroots movement starting with each one of us. How do we want to live our lives?